Hi, and thanks for choosing to watch this C-Logic video in which we will have a look around Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. First point to note is that you can purchase Microsoft CRM 2011 as either an on-premise system in which you source the hardware and purchase the licenses, or as an online version in the cloud. A low monthly per user per month rate is charged to get you up and running on Microsoft CRM quickly and easily. There are some slight differences with what you can do with the two versions, but for the sake of this video, what you see applies to both. From a user compliance point of view, the first thing we see is that Microsoft CRM can be embedded into Outlook. Users only need open one application, and the look and feel of CRM is pretty much identical as the application uses the Microsoft ribbon and folders on the left. We can also see some additions as we look in our inbox. I can record emails in CRM, link them to other records, convert an email quickly into an opportunity, lead or case, or view the tracked email in CRM. An additional tab in the ribbon called CRM allows me to create new CRM activities or new entity records such as leads and accounts. You can also go offline with Microsoft CRM and then when you come back online quickly synchronize your records to the main CRM database. Highlighting an email I can see an additional panel that shows me information regarding this record and I can hyperlink to the relevant record within the CRM system. The structure on the left is where you have access to the full CRM functionality. What you have access to can be limited by security roles, whereas this user has an administrative role so he can see everything. Clicking on Workplace and opening up the tree structure, I can see lots of information that is pertinent to me as the user. I can view any number of dashboards of information. Or I can view my list of activities. Notice the look and feel of the list view at the top with information below. If I select a different record, the information below changes. You can search for information or filter information as required. And also notice that the ribbon has now become entity specific so I can work with my activities. The workplace contains other areas as listed. The marketing roles area provides all the functionality to create and track marketing campaigns within your business. You can create a marketing list, which is essentially a list of leads or contacts based on certain criteria, and associate that list to a campaign so you can mail shot them, for example. If I double click on a campaign, I now go into the CRM application itself and see all the information associated with that campaign, such as details, budgets and costs, administration, and any notes. I can also see all related information to the campaign so I can schedule specific campaign activities, view campaign responses, associate target products and view associated marketing lists. Notice the similar look and feel with the Microsoft ribbon. The sales role provides a salesperson with all the functionality they need to add leads, convert those leads to contacts and accounts, add opportunities, create quotes and orders and manage competitors. Goals can also be assigned to each salesperson and their activity tracked. If I click contacts, once again I see my list view of contacts. I can also look in more detail at a contact by double-clicking on it. 
I can now see more in-depth associated information, like the details I have for him or her, associated multiple addresses, activities, opportunities they are involved with, cases they have logged, and so on and so forth. For example, I can see that we have one open opportunity with Simon Garfunkel. And if I click on that opportunity, I go to the detail of that particular record. Note again that the ribbon provides access to all the functionality around each entity. The service role is a similar look and feel but provides a customer service representative with all the functionality they need to log cases which are essentially any issue or complaint. The resource centre and settings are more specific to the administrator of the system as it is from here that they can manage the application. Well there we have it, that's a quick overview of Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. Remember to always check the help files if you want any further information, but in the meantime thanks very much for watching this C-Logic production. <laughs>